On September 18, 2002, Officer Benjamin Perez and his partner, Officer Ron Zuniga, received information about a narcotics transaction occurring near the Burlington Northern Santa Fe Railroad tracks that's in the 2100 blocks of South Spalding in Chicago. The officers climbed over a train embankment. They were conducting surveillance from a railroad trestle. As they watched for illegal activity, a metro commuter train traveling at a high rate of speed was headed in their direction. Both officers were able to get off the tracks, at least for a moment, but Officer Perez was pulled back underneath the wheels by the forceful suction created by a rapidly moving train. Ben was survived by his wife, Shelley, who some of you know very well as the current co-chair of the Gold Star families, and three children, Katerina, Ben, and Rebecca. Ben has tonight offered to tell us what this foundation means to him. Ben? Good evening. My name is Benjamin Perez. I'm a sophomore in high school, and I currently attend St. Ignatius College Prep. I play football and baseball and participate in various service-oriented co-curriculars at my school. I would like to I would like to start with thank thanking all of you for coming out on this evening of remembrance and for all the other times you have been there to show your support for the fallen men and women of our police department. On September 18, 2002, my father, Benjamin Perez, was struck and killed by a passing metro train <coughs> while trying to get a better vantage point during a narcotics investigation. My younger sister, Becky, was five months old. I was a year and a half old, and our older sister, Katerina, was nine. Even though we lost our father at such a young age, we have come to find out, find out how great of a man he was. People have described my dad as many things, but the most common are responsible, determined, hardworking, kind, and a leader. He led by example and worked a part-time job throughout high school. He attended Rosary College, which is now Dominican University, and during his junior year of college, he met my mother while he was working at Dominic's. He saw my mom and made sure he got over to bag her groceries for her, only to show off that he was the front-end manager. <coughs> he worked his way up the chain of management, and at the same time, he tested for Chicago and suburban police uh, departments. When he got the offer from Chicago, he was forced to make a choice between the city and suburbs. He, would, he could choose to stay where he lived and take a job in a quiet suburb, or he could move into the city and take a job in a place where he could always make the, the streets safer. You may have figured he chose Chicago over the suburbs because he wanted to make a difference, make the streets safer, and fulfill his dreams of being not just any police officer, but a cop in the third largest city in the U.S. He had hopes to make other people's lives better and dreamed of moving up in the ranks of the department before he even had a few months on the job. My dad loved his family with all his heart. As a young adult, he watched out for his sisters in school, drove them wherever they needed to go, and made them laugh if times ever got difficult. He also loved and revered his parents. When my sisters and I came along, we became the center of his world. Everything he did, he did for us. He took us on trips to the zoo with our cousins, took us to ball games, and put up with any problems that we gave him without ever showing any frustration, which I don't think was too often. When he first found out that he was going to have a baby boy, he wanted to pass all his dreams on to me. By the time I was born, he was already thinking about where I would go to college. He called West Point and had them mail over an uh, admissions information packet. <laughs> It makes me happy to know how excited he was for my future. Today, my dream is to go to Notre Dame and make him proud of all the effort that I have put into my schoolwork. But I'll never forget that he, how, how much care he put into thinking about me and my future. For as long as I can remember, the Memorial Foundation has always been there for my family. They come for Christmas, for Operation Santa, and bring a special joy to my mother, sisters, and I. Every year when the caravan of police cars come, it reminds me of how many people truly lived their lives by the motto, never forget. 
This vigil itself is a testament to the Foundation's determination to remember the fallen officers of our city and the remarkable lives that they led. The lit up skyline, the bagpipes, and the mountain muted are just a few of the amazing features that make tonight so special and unique. I have always known that my father gave his life to make Chicago a better place, and the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation has made it possible for many others to remember all of the brave men and women who have given the ultimate sacrifice. It means the world to my family and I, and all the go other Gold Star families, that so many people come out on nights like tonight to remember our loved ones. Another thing that the organization does to help our families is giving us the chance to go to any school that we desire. The Memorial Foundation pays for the education of the children of fallen officers from preschool to high school and has even paid for some of the school trips I've gone on. In eighth grade, my class went to Washington, D.C., and the foundation went totally out of their way and paid fully for their trip. Their unconditional love and consideration has given me some of the best experiences that I've ever had. The Memorial Foundation has allowed me to go to a prestigious school and would make my dad very proud. I am honored to be given the opportunity to attend St. Ignatius and grateful for the opportunities to fulfill my potential. I would like to conclude by saying thank you for my family and I to the Chicago Police Memorial Foundation for all that it does and thank you to everyone for coming year in and year out to this event to show your support. Thank you.